what's up guys welcome back this is the second video of the building a simple web scraper using golang series now this is the second part of the series uh, if you've not seen the first video then i highly recommend that you go to my channels search for that video and watch it because you'll understand what we're building uh, in the first video we we uh, planned out how we're going to approach the code and in this video we'll actually write down the code so uh, you can feel free to open that other video on a different tab and uh, look at the diagram that i'd shown you in the previous video because i'm going to almost follow that diagram uh, while coding uh, out this scraper all right so it'll be good to have that in front of you so that uh, everything will make a lot more sense to you now i'll uh, go over to my uh, place uh, in my computer where I keep all my go code and I'm going to go ahead and create a directory so these commands will be same if you are on Ubuntu or if you're on Mac even if you're on uh, Windows and using PowerShell the commands will be the same you don't have to worry all right so I'll create a directory called golang scraper or simple scraper actually and I'm going to CD into that golang simple scraper and I'm going to go mod in it and put the name of my project. Don't let github.com slash actual slash go simple scraper. Don't let, let the github.com uh, confuse you. It's just like a uh, like an absolute path. So even if I'm not going to put this code on GitHub, uh, I will. But even if I'm not going to put the code on GitHub, for ex for example, if you're not going to put it on GitHub, even uh, even then you can give this kind of a uh, absolute path. This will help you access all the other files in your uh, uh, what do you call it in your uh, uh, you know project well, even though in this particular project we'll have just one main.go file but still it's a good practice to have this all right so we've created a, a go.mod uh, file now and then what we'll do now is we'll open up our code editor in this folder i'm using VS code you can use any other code editor you want doesn't matter we can see the go.mod file is already there now we want to just create our main.go file so we have our main.go file as well and now we'll you know uh, write the first line of our code which always is package main right in any golang code and you're going to import the packages that you need I need my format package I need my net slash HTTP because I want to create a server right i need my os package because i want to accept some uh, input from the user from the command line right so that's why i need the os package and i need my strings package i need then i need the most important package which is golang.org slash x dot it's not an external package it's an internal golang package which helps us to uh, uh, tokenize the uh, the response that we'll get right so in in the previous video i would shown you on the diagram that we'll need this package the this library net slash html because it uh, enables us to parse or use the html to uh, in order in order for the golang to work with it or to understand it right now so we have uh, our important package main sorted out now we'll start writing our func main all right so func main now this is where it might be handy if you want to open up that other diagram right from the previous video and so here we want to have, uh, I'll have two variables. One is called my found URLs variable, which will be basically a map, which will have string, which will be the URLs and a Boolean, which is true. So basically uh, what we want uh, this program to do is that we're going to pass it two or three or multiple different um, URLs to scrape. And it's going to go to these URLs, it's going to scrape them, it's going to find unique URLs on those pages. And those unique URLs, I want them to be stored in this found URLs uh, map. I hope that makes sense. And the Boolean is there because I want to store if it's true or false, right? If we found the URLs or not. Uh, and, uh, and basically, we want to find unique URLs, all right? So seed URLs. This another variable is going to have the arguments that I'm, go I'm going to pass from the command line, all right? And now if you remember from my previous uh, video the diagram uh, we have to create two channels one where we'll output out all the different urls that we find on those uh, urls that need to be scraped right so the first channel so this is how you define a channel by the way if you're not worked with channels so it's just write chn and string and channels can be of any uh, data type right so it can be string or and, I, and sometimes you'll even see channels of type channels right <laughs> so that'll be pretty weird and then we want to have another channel called finished channel where we're going to say true in the sense that we, I, we are done fin you know we are finished uh, working with this what do you call it um, 
as in we're finished with this page so we're going to have that other second channel all right and now we want to start writing our go routines so go routines are basically uh, you know routines that call function right multiple processes that call other functions so what we'll do is we'll go over uh, all the um, URLs that will be in the seed URLs in the sense like I said you know we can pass one URL 5 or 10 URLs to when when we start the program right the user will pass multiple URLs they will be in seed URLs so for each of those URLs we want to start another go routine this I had shown you in the previous uh, diagram the previous series diagram if you remember so now we range over all these URLs that the user will send them send, uh, send this program right and we want to for each of these URLs we want to start a, uh, a routine so how do you start a routine you say go and you call the function crawl we'll have to create this function called crawl it will take into three different things it'll take the URL it will take ch URLs which will be a channel so we are passing it channels so which are, and we're passing it another channel called finished so every routine takes the URL which it needs to sc scrape using the crawl function it needs it takes the uh, channel URL which uh, basically will contain all the list of the unique URLs that we'll find on this particular URL that the user has given us right makes sense and then we have the ch finish the cha finish channel also we'll pass here so that uh, this go routine can always tell uh, that yes I am done I'm finished you know I've done I'm done with this page so that's kind of important for us so that's what every single go routine can do right and I'd shown you in the di this in the diagram uh, in the previous video I, I'm I'm sorry if I'm saying it again and again but but you need to keep that open if you have not uh, kept it open because everything will make a lot more sense uh, anyhow so now we'll have now what we need to do is we need to subscribe to those channels right and how do you subscribe to those channels you write the select case statement in Golang so we'll go over all these URLs let's say uh, you know as many URLs are there in the seed URLs and then we'll have two different since we have two channels so we'll have two cases right and so whenever we want to get some value from this the uh, from a channel right so we write like this so ch URLs and the value that we'll uh, get from this channel uh, will be outputted into URL so we'll assign that to this variable called URL right and so uh, the the concept of select statement if you don't know by the way so uh, I, like by by now I'm hoping that you know at least the basics of concurrency and select and channels and go routines but if you don't know what uh, select channel uh, select uh, case does is basically uh, you know whenever you get any response uh, back from a channel like in this case the URL channel uh, you know we, we want to perform some action so we don't want the channel uh, URLs to stay blocked till the other channel, uh, you know, is uh, output something, right? So we want both of them to be completely concurrent, completely independent of each other. So if this channel is outputting something, we want to do something else. And if the other uh, channel is outputting something, which is this finished channel, we want to do something else altogether. All right. So it's like a switch case statement, but for channels, for subscribing channels, right? So if if we if the uh, you know ch finish channel re re responds something like true or something we want to go to the next channel c plus plus. But if this says something in the sense the URLs uh, we get a lot of URLs right back from the URL. So the URL that we had sent to the grow crawl in the channel URLs it's going to output out all the URLs uh, the unique URLs that it found right. So what we'll do is we'll store that in our found URLs map that we have just created earlier. And we're going to say true, right? That we found that URL. And then we're just going to print out the number of URLs that we found. So we're going to say slash n found and the length of the found URLs map comma unique URLs okay so the number of unique URLs that we have found it will give us the count it's very simple very straightforward and now what we want to do is we want to actually print out all the URLs that we found right 
now uh, so one thing to notice that i will be writing this go crawl function right so you don't have to worry if you're still worrying that where is this function i don't see it i will be writing that go crawl function right now i'm just writing all the things that i need in my main function right so so we have printed out all the uh, the number of unique urls that we found now we want to print out all the urls that we found right so we're going to say url range we're going to range over the found urls map okay and then we're just going to put this dash for the starting of the line for each of the urls and we're going to print out all the urls now one thing that you have to do is you have to close the channel right the channel of the urls you have to close it uh, so whenever the the place the function where you receive um, some output right where you receive the output from a channel that's the place where you have to close the channel you can't close this at the place where you're uh, inputting in, in uh, writing something into the channel and uh, you have to close channels to uh, remove deadlocks basically that's the most important part so if you don't know what close is and how channels work how select and case work and if you're finding this video difficult then i suggest you take a look at concurrency first and then uh, trying to understand this code because then it'll make a lot more sense but uh, what i'm trying to do is even if you don't know all of the all of these concepts i'm still trying to you know explain all of these uh, different lines to you so that you know you don't, you're not completely lost so now the uh, this is uh, where I'd like to end this video and in the next video, I'll write the go crawl function and then we'll have to write another function uh, which will get, get the uh, href tags for us. And uh, then we'll also out, uh, check out the output of this uh, program. So uh, if you're liking this series, then do subscribe and so that you can be updated when the next video of this comes out. Probably uh, the next day, it will be out tomorrow itself, I think. Uh, so, but do subscribe. Thanks a lot.